there, and welcome back to yet another installment of... Alright guys, so today we're going to be taking a look at Eddie Van Halen style mix picking. Those of you with the keen eye probably already know what I'm talking about. We're talking about, of course, the old school Eddie Van Halen style phrase where you play legato on the first string you play and then when you get to the second string you switch over and you start doing alternate picking starting on upstrokes. Now Ed pioneered this kind of phrasing, of course, years and years ago, probably in the 70s. I read him in a magazine article interview with him years ago that he said that he always thought he was a sloppy uh, picker, which is why he used this kind of mix picking. Which I think is kind of crazy because for me personally, doing this is actually harder than just picking everything. But again, that's Eddie Van Halen, and as we all know, the man was not of this earth when it came to his playing. Uh, anyway, most of the time when you see Ed playing these phrases, uh, just like the one I just played a second ago, noodling, you're looking at you know the old symmetrical pattern kind of stuff that Ed used to use. You know, either the one, two, four pattern, you know, this sort of thing. Or the uh, more stretched out one, you know, the uh, the one, three, five kind of thing. That sort of thing. Uh, anyway, I did a lot of this sort of stuff just for speed because you're just doing the same pattern running, you know, downwards. Uh, we're going to take that, put it in key, and then, uh, yeah, it's going to become more difficult, but I'm going to phrase it and sequence it, and it's going to be interesting. But you're going to enjoy it, I promise. This is going to make you better, maybe. Hopefully. Anyway, enough of my blabbering. Let's get playing. Okay guys, so a few things to take care of before we get going. We are going to be doing this entire lick in A major. So uh, I'm just going to assume that you know the A major scale. If you don't, that sort of thing. If you're more of a person who's familiar with you know minor scales as opposed to major scales, no problem. Just think of this in the relative minor, which would be F sharp minor. So yeah, that scale. You know what same scale, just different tonic, different root, okay? And of course, like I just mentioned, because this is going to be mix picking, uh, you're going to start everything off with three notes legato, which is going to be followed up by three notes played with alternate picking, starting on an upstroke. So this kind of thing. Okay, as long as you can do that, you've got this, right? Okay, let's go. All right, guys, so to start this thing off, I'm just going to show you the Eddie Van Halen mix picking lick, and we're just going to take this lick and just literally run it through the A major scale and then climb our way all the way up to the A up there eventually. So all you're going to be doing is this little guy right here. Seriously, that's it. We're just going to take that and move it everywhere. So all I did here for this piece, which is the main lick, as long as you understand this, you're going to get the bare bones of this entire lesson, is uh, I'm just going to start off here on the A, so we're going to play 5, 7, 9, all with hammer rounds with the downstroke, just like that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down one string lower onto my A string and start on an upstroke. I'm going to go up, down, up playing the exact same thing. Seriously, that's it. That is the lick. Okay, got it? Good. So let's play that whole thing together slowly. Okay, good. Now let's take a look at the sequence. Okay, so the first sequence will look kind of like this played slowly. Okay. All right, guys, so all I'm doing here is just play the first lick that you learned back in the lick section. Okay, and all I'm gonna do now, instead of jumping down one more string like Ed would do in his kind of symmetrical phrasing, I'm gonna start off on the string we just ended on. So we did this. So we ended right there on the ninth fret of your A string. We're just gonna start the exact same thing over again, but on the fifth fret of the A string. So starting right here on that D note. So downstroke there. And we're just moving through the scale, folks. So just like that, nice and easy. So, so that was my up, down, up, starting right there on the sixth fret. So all together up to that point, here's what we got. All right, and you got it guys, this isn't rocket science. We're gonna repeat the exact same thing. Okay, we're just moving through the scale, you got me? And we're gonna do exactly what you think we're gonna do. That's a bit of the cheeky shift there. When you do it from this section, so you know we're off here on the G string and you go down stroke. And you hammer on all up to the nine. You have to do a bit of a position shift here, which is a little bit awkward. So next we're gonna be starting off the next phrase with the upstrokes, starting on the seventh fret of your B string. Just like that, right? So that was just seven, nine, and 10. And you got it to finish this phrase off. Repeat that thing with a down stroke. All legato on your high E string. Up, down, up. That's it. So played all together slowly. It should look like this. Good. 
guys, so now we're into the second phrase. And the second phrase is just a continuation on how we ended the first phrase. We ended like this, right? Now we're gonna do is we're gonna keep moving through the scale pattern, but we're gonna just be moving up by each scale degree on your B string. So we've got this. Now all I want you to do is move up one and we're gonna repeat the exact same thing. So now we're just starting this off on the ninth fret of your B string. Just like that. And you got it. We're gonna move up one more and play the same thing again. This time we're now starting on the 10th. Okay, now once you get to that point, so you've done three up, right? So we've got... That sort of thing. What I want you to do is go back one and then go up three. And that's gonna be the whole pattern. Okay, so we got this so far. Now we're gonna go back one. Keep going up. Keep going up, because we gotta go up three. This one's a bit awkward. The fingering I find on this one is strange. Uh, experiment here to see what works for you. Uh, I'm playing this one starting off on the 12th here with my downstroke. I'm gonna go 12, 14, 15. And then for my upstrokes, up on the 12, down on the 14. And I'm using my pinky here to grab the uh, the 16th fret. But you might wanna use your, your ring finger. Again, experiment, see what works for you. All right, so up until that point, here's what we've got. Okay, all right, of course, since we just did three, we get to go back one and repeat three again. So yeah, to start off the next batch of three movements, we're gonna start off on the 10th fret on your B string, and you got it, we're gonna do the exact same pattern. And that's the entire lick, and I just ended this by doing a big bend. And then picking again on the A, and that's the entire phrase. All right, so that entire sequence up until that last bend should look and sound kinda like this. So let's play that entire sequence together slowly. That whole phrase played a little bit more quickly. Should look and sound kind of like this. All right, maximum effort. guys there you have it one any van halen style mixed picking shred run uh basically as you can see i just took one of ed's old concepts and uh sequenced it in the way that i thought sounded kind of interesting to my ear uh, again the real takeaway from this is go ahead and look at these classic licks from your favorite players look at the way that they're built and structured and then take them repurpose them build your own licks with them that's really the fun of this so yeah go ahead take this one see what kind of cool runs you can come up with uh, if you like the sound of this one there's another cool one i recommend you check out i did a rabbit lick on this like two years ago or something uh George Lynch also uses this kind of phrasing, but he does it the opposite way that Eddie Van Halen does. So Eddie does, you know, the down pick kind of, and then up pick thing, whereas George will do the picking first, and then the legato, and he'll sequence it that way. Again, really cool, uh, really cool run, really cool phrasing, very similar vein, but uh, yeah, neat stuff. Anyway, I'll leave a card around here somewhere so you guys can check that out if you care. Anyway, hope you guys found this useful. Hope you learned something. Uh, if you did learn anything or did find this useful anyway, please make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and help this channel grow a little bit. And as per usual, guys, just keep on shredding, and we will talk to you in the next video. Bye for now.